back down to the start now from junior women's eights. On the Berkshire station on the bank on the far on the left hand side is Henley Rowing Club, a local club, and on the right hand side, going up to the island, is Putney High School from London. Yeah, such a privilege to see this event on the roster. I was lucky enough to commentate on the first one down the track earlier on with Mark. And it felt like a special moment in the pages of the Henley Royal Regatta history book. And another example here of the quality of, of schoolgirl rowing in this country, Henley out to half a length already. Yeah, the local crew, they, they train on this river all the time, but the river doesn't look like this at all in the winter. No bop, no booms, nothing. Yeah, we, we talk about home advantage for the likes of Leander, Upper Thames, Henley. I'm not sure how much that counts because this is so markedly different from the course that they train on for basically 11 months of the year that, that I don't really think home advantage comes into play. Um, this Henley Rowing Club 8, the national schools, got a silver medal in the 8th and their quad came 6th. And they've mixed those two crews together, so this should be quite a potent offering in this event today. Um, Putney High School, they're a mixture of their juniors and J16s, they've mixed them up for the, for the regatta. Um, they came 6th in Marlow Regatta in the 8th, so they've raced each other before. Yeah, like, like most of the crews that turn up on day one of Henley, they'll know each other, they'll have familiarity and, and intimacy with each other's techniques and race plans. And I think Henley has been such a powerful force on the junior rowing, junior women's rowing scene over the past sort of five years. They've built something of a dynasty considering they're a club. Not maybe as strong as they have been in previous years this year. I, I'm not sure I would make them as my outright favourites, but you can never discount them. And you can see here, putting several lengths into Putney High and looking like they're starting to relax as they come into the second half. Yeah, they, does, they do look like... They're doing a very good job of that against Putney High School. I mean, it's interesting that someone like Henley Rowing Club, the junior program has done very well in recent history, but they've got a history behind them, whereas Putney High is just a junior program. They've never won Henley. And how do you make that step to becoming a winning program? Well, it's a complex question. I'm sure one that Putney High are grappling with, but they're making a good fist of it. They are a relatively recent program, like you say, Adrian. I don't think they've been around for much longer than 10, 15 years, competing at national level. And, and they're, they're, they're boating crews at Henley Royal, and that's the way you start, right? You boat the crews, then you win races, then you start to win events, and, and you have to just keep building and driving and developing the, 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 the ethos and the culture of that club so that you build a winning mentality. And it's great to see these, you know, how many junior women's eights have appeared in the UK in the last two years, really, since it was announced that this is going to be an event for them at Henley. That's exactly it. I mean, we were, we were waxing lyrical this morning about the effect the Diamond Jubilees had on schoolgirl sculling in this country and how it translated into international medals at junior and under-23 level. And the same, I hope, will happen with the junior women's eights. I mean, we only need to look at Headington and the likes of LEH to understand that the, the, the quality that is sort of prevalent in this country in, in junior women's rowing, but this should only help to exacerbate that trend. Yeah, so the, the last time that um, Henry Roenka won the Diamond Jubilee was 2012. Yeah, surprising. the year. It's surprising. It feels like they've been here and there more, more longer than that. But here doing a good job in the eight. Clear water up on Putney High School. Squaring early, that's how you know they're comfortable. Squaring over the knees. So you they, don't see that very often. No, you don't. They do square very early coming down there. Putney again having trip we again, they're getting caught in the wash now because of the margin, and it's very difficult for the Cox to steer. As we come up to the finish line here, two or three strokes to go. It's going to be a win for Henley Rowing Club over at Putney High School. And that was a great race and a good row for both crews. Here we go, and you can see a little picture here of the Henley Rowing winning crew as they finish the race.